Hey everyone and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. I'm so glad that you are here for our special He Has Risen Easter Liturgy. Because it's Easter, we have a white cloth on our prayer table and a new candle too. This is the Paschal candle and its flame comes from the fire that was lit outside church on Holy Saturday. This Easter candle will burn from now until the great feast of Pentecost and remind us that Jesus, the light of the world, is here. I'm so excited to share the gospel with you today. But before that, we need to take a look inside the Mark 10 bag to see if there are any objects to place on our Easter prayer table. Inside the Mark 10 bag, we have a cross, a hill, a tomb, and a rock. Beautiful. This ornament reminds us that on Good Friday, Jesus died on the cross. His body was taken to a tomb and laid there, and a heavy stone was rolled across the entrance. His friends thought that he was gone. However, in our gospel today, we discover that nothing, not even death, can defeat Jesus. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus, be in my thoughts, in my words, and in my heart. The day after the Sabbath day was the first day of the week. At dawn on the first day, Mary Magdalene and another Mary went to look at the tomb. At that time, there was a strong earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb and rolled the stone away from the entrance. Then he sat on the stone. He was shining as bright as lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The soldiers guarding the tomb were frightened of the angel. They shook with fear and then became like dead men. The angel said to the women, don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, the one who was killed on the cross, but he is not here. He has risen from death as he said he would. Come and see the place where his body was and go quickly and tell his followers. Say to them, Jesus has risen from death. He is going into Galilee. He will go there before you. You will see him there. Then the angel said, now I have told you. The women left the tomb quickly they were afraid, but they were also very happy. They ran to tell Jesus' followers what had happened. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. The women came up to Jesus, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go on to Galilee. They will see me there. On Easter morning, the stone is rolled away, the tomb is empty, and Jesus is alive. What a wonderful moment. There are so many things to think and wonder about this beautiful resurrection story. In the beginning, Jesus' friends Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, set off to the tomb, just as the sun was starting to rise. It was the very first time that they were allowed to go to the garden 
where Jesus' body had been placed after he died on the cross. I wonder, Jesus had died. A heavy stone had been rolled over the entrance. So why did they want to go and be near the place where Jesus' body lay? What an awesome sight they saw as they came to the tomb. An earthquake, the ground shook, and an angel appeared, rolling the stone away from the entrance of the tomb. How would you feel seeing this? Do not be afraid, the angel said. I know that you are looking for Jesus, the one killed on the cross. But he is not here. He has risen. Wow, it makes me feel so warm inside saying those amazing words. I wonder, what do you think the friends wanted to do straight away? What would you do? I would want to tell everyone, Jesus is alive, he's back, he's not dead, come and see. But then the gospel says, Jesus met them. What do you think he looked like as he came towards them? Imagine this moment. You've seen Jesus die on the cross, felt so sad, so many tears. But now the tomb is empty and he is here, risen, standing, smiling back at you. I invite you to gently close your eyes. The same Jesus who stood in the garden is here now. See his smiling face. He is so pleased to see you. The friends rushed to Jesus and took hold of him and worshipped him. You can be just as close to Jesus in your heart now. King Jesus, you are alive. Thank you that you died and rose again for me. You love me so much. Thank you for being so close to me. Thank you that I can sing a song of happiness in my heart because the stone has been rolled away. The tomb is empty and you are alive. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to you, my Lord and my God. Amen. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence you won't let go. In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea oh, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. In my troubled sea, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore.
fire before us You're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Fire before us You're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Hey! Fire before us You're the brightest You will lead us through the storms Fire before us You're the brightest You will lead us through the storms My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you all My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore Thank you so much for joining us today for this special He Has Risen Little Liturgy. The friends of Jesus were so full of happiness when they saw Jesus was alive that they ran to tell others. I pray that you can share this wonderful news with people you know this week. I can't wait to see you again next time when we will meet Jesus again on the road to a town called Emmaus. But until then, goodbye and God bless.